So, hello everyone, I'm Mondon here, time for course Elena, you're the witch episode 4. I want to give you some, you know, some notes on last week, right? So, uh, obviously episode 3, a lot of discussions, right? Some people hated it, some people liked it, right? Uh, I think that one thing is immediate is that people are defending it or, you know, not really using any bad arguments. No, but the thing is that, okay, I want to break it down, not too much here, this could be another video, right? Ethics and so on. Let's talk about the issue here. So, first of all, uh, I found it very weird. I'm not saying weird, but it's not an actual argument. And people are defending saying that, ha, huh, you didn't expect her to be a good hero, like a Deku or a Goku or Luffy or something. That's why you don't like the anime. No. That, I think that argument, first of all, it's an hold of me. It attacks the person of the actual uh, argument they're making, right? So that makes it invalid immediately anyway. But let's say there was a real argument. It doesn't make any sense, right? I haven't read a single person on my channel or tell us. To say that oh, I, I wanted Elena to be, you know, Superman or Spider Man. Why wasn't you that? Yeah, I haven't heard anyone saying that. No. But people are saying that it's better to help people than die from the right. That's like a normal person would do. Like an average human would do, right? And that's a huge difference, as I wrote last week about being Spider Man that travels around the city, right? Looking for danger. Like, what, what could I help? What can I save? Right? So, right? Looking for, you know, to get dangerous versus a person that walks on the street. Sees someone die in front of them and ignores them. Say, ah, oh, this guy's dying. I oh, whatever's on my phone. Yeah, that's a very, very big difference. Right? I haven't read a single person that find it bad that Elena is not, you know, going around saving every country, but they expect her to be nice to people, the other right, and also help people that are dying from the first. It's a huge difference from that and being an active superhero. Right? Massive difference. Okay, that's one thing. But the big issue, though. Is that it's inconsistent character writing, right? That's the biggest people having in episode two and three, right? Because episode two presents a girl that helps another woman for no reason, right? Except oh, I guess I do it. And even then, when Saya, this girl and woman she helped, right, the teenage girl, when she even told her she lied to her, betrayed her trust to her, all of this stuff, right? She still helped her. So I laughed at the lady. It's like, who's this pretty girl? That's me. I am a pretty. That she's very smug and arrogant. And so on. I like that with her, right? But it also is portrayed in episode one and two. Because episode two, that she's a nice girl deep down, right? She has this like you know compassion, sympathy, empathy, and so on, right? For people and helps out this girl, even if she betrayed. She forgave her, right? She forgave this girl that broke her trust and so on, right? That has in episode two that she's a nice person deep down. Under that smugness and arrogance, right? In episode 3, though, she arguably indirectly kills this guy by bringing the flowers to her. And as you can see in my reaction, I immediately said, Oh, they're possibly, they're possibly flowers. I was immediately saying that those flowers are poisonous, right? So it's not in that, oh, you didn't expect it to turn dark. No, I expected it, I expected it immediately to turn dark because of the flowers. So it was so that also bullshit. But anyway, she indirectly, arguably, kills him, right? Uh, or even if she didn't, but that is definitely a thing, I think, that guilt the most over that. But anyway, she just lets him die. That guy hasn't done anything to her, right? Seiya betrayed her, and she still had her. So why won't she help this guy, right? It, it doesn't make any sense from my character writing. It's incredibly different character, episode 2 and episode 3. And that's the main issue with the episode, right? That, because the issue that is that some people say, oh, you just want her to be here and so on. No, no. Like, I have, I mean, I like, except for Tanya the Evil. Great anime, right? And Tanya keeps it all the time. This season, Nana, okay, Nana is about a girl, you know, killing people at the school. I love that. It's a great anime. Yeah, I like that. I'm gonna uh, You know, Little Demon Princess, you know, super funny anime on Mondays. Kills all demons all the time. Super funny. I love that anime. A great anime too. But if it happened in that anime, if the princess was suddenly nice to the demons, I would say the same thing I'm saying here. I'd be like, wait, episode one and two, she was killing demons left and right. And episode 3, just being nice to them and actually listening to them and actually talking to them and actually being nice and so on. It wouldn't make any sense. I would be like, what's happening? She's breaking the character, say in episode 1 and 2, yeah. That's the thing here with Elena, right? Elena isn't presented in episode 1 and 2 as this, like, you know, sociopathic, egoistic maniac. No, she's presented as a person that's, you know, arrogant and self and, and sure, egoistic and so on. But she just does the, you know, the right thing in the end, right? Like a typical... Like a normal person, and oh, I will have to go later. I forgave her, you know. She's like, yeah. So why would she someone die? Right? It doesn't make any sense. And you can always saying that no, but like if she was in danger, but this told her the plant wouldn't work on witches. So how she was in how she was how was she in danger? And the issue that is, if she had simply, you know, 
try to use time magic or burn it with fire magic or whatever, right? She try to do something and then say, oh no, it's time immune or something, whatever. And then she would have left. It would be, yeah, the scene would be okay, right? They would be like, okay, whatever, she left that. That would be okay, but now it's like, she didn't even try to do anything. It doesn't make any sense. Like, it feels like it's two completely different characters, episode two and three, right? Uh, you could argue that, no, no, but there was too much effort for her. But how? She didn't even try to do anything. And it also could have been saved by her flying away and then reflecting and thinking in her brain, you know, thinking, it's like, oh, well, I couldn't save him because I read in my book 10 years ago that uh, this plant, uh, uh, you know, it, like, if it, if it had turned you into this state of zombification, you are then this blah, 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 and this thing or something. So you could have, you know, commented on that, reflected over that, but she didn't. She just left. It was really, it's really strange, right? And it didn't, it just doesn't make any sense. So, so no, it's a big issue, right? And then of course you can have the ethic issue. You can, you can argue the ethics of letting someone die, the Arcadia, the sin of Arcadia. So you can, you can argue the whole ethics of it, but even ignoring the ethics, it's just not the same person, right? You feel like you're watching two different main characters, episode one, and, episode two and three. And also for that matter, episode one and two, she's clearly the main character. She's clearly involved in the whole story. Episode three, she's just like, I'm just gonna watch from the sideline. Like that's not the same character either. And you can argue saying that, oh, but it's supposed to be this way. It's supposed to be a, you know, a traveler and a, you know, she's just observer. Well, she did poison them with the flowers. So she really didn't just observe. She fixed the waste and so on. She did just observe again. So she actually is not just observing. That's one thing. She also didn't stay to watch what would happen to the girl as she left. So she also failed in observing and so on. Right? But also, even if she's observing so on, right? episode one and two, she wasn't right. So it's inconsistent narration. So that's the issue. Anyway, let's watch episode four now. But I'm just saying that it's not consistent. That's the issue, right? It's not consistency. And, and no one is angry that she isn't this superhero, as I mentioned. No one's angry about that thing. Uh, that, that argument is so, it's so invalid. It's, it's a valid two parts. It's valid because no one ever said it. It's valid because it's a lot of him. But it's like, no, no, no. People are, you know, perplexed by the action because it doesn't fit the same character. Because episode two and three are two very different persons. Anyway, let's watch episode four. So three, two, one, and go. But I am then expecting, I guess somewhat spiteful here, that in episode four, she's going to be back to her episode two personality. That's kind of what I expected, honestly. I think, I think it's going to be very existent. That's kind of what I expected, honestly, right? Okay, it's a princess falling in love with someone. Oh, the chef, uh, the Sanji, of course. It's a pudding and Sanji, yeah, here we go. It was love. Yeah, Elena hasn't said love yet, so she's kind of like, yeah. Oh yeah, she's nurturing pregnancy, clearly. Mm, yeah, she's pregnant. Fruit of the love, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. It's fruit of love. I hope you know, yeah. No, but it's okay. It's a love story now, but I, I don't know. But just now there's so many. This is this episode. There's so many, right? Because not just from a characterization standpoint, but also from a narration standpoint. Uh, because if she's a. I mean, people, I think a lot of people last week, and also this week, but generally has argued that. Well, she's supposed to be an observer. She's supposed to use be there on the sideline. Nah, but why was she helping Saya then? Not just from a you know her personal compassion and so on, but just from a narrative standpoint. It's not, it's not the same character. <laughs> it's not the same storytelling. So let's see, let's see. But you know, I always expect it to be that this time she will be involved again, and she won't be neutral. Uh, I guess I hope for that, just to prove my point. But even more proof point, even point is very proven. But to even further, you know, point for that. But it's like. If he said the anime doesn't know what it wants to be, right? Um, she could have been removed from the second story episode 2 completely, part 2. She didn't do anything in the episode. And she even knew that the boss had to dangerous. He didn't tell him that way. It's just... She's the girl that would forgive her, you know, her traitorous friend, right? And this is a very absurd direct argument from my side, but people saying that, oh, but helping Saya couldn't go wrong. That's why it was the right thing to do. How did she know that? The only thing Shia betrayed her and, and was a thief and so on. Helping her learn magic could mean that she's becoming a you know a powerful criminal. She can't know that. So that's a that's a completely you can't just say that helping teaching anyone magic might have you know die consequences, right? So that, probably more than helping them from the you know with the Lino and so on. Probably worse teach and random thief magic. Yeah, that's seems worse. But it can look like a dress rosa thing. It's like dress rosa with toy toy uh, workers. 
Okay, like a war perhaps. Looks like a... Looks very modern suddenly. Like she's coming into some kind of other... Looks like some, yeah, it's like a star fort. Which is built around like 16th, 17th century, depending on which country you're in, but... Yeah. A star fort structure is like the late renaissance or, you know, early... Uh, well, not really, but yeah. Star fort. 1650s, something like that. But anyway. Yeah, it looks very modern. Um, and cold, apparently. Hmm. Like, well, the prince is probably here, right? And it's like everyone is at the death or something. Yeah, like everyone. I wonder if it's snow. Maybe it's like ashes, right? Maybe it's actually snowing, but it's just, it's just cold, though, so I don't know, but. It could have been like, man, this place looks really ruined. This place looks completely devastated. So everyone's probably dead then, right? Like it's only the priests left. Or everyone's turned into, okay, magical. And that could explain why this castle is still uh, left though. It's like a magical bear or something. Maybe she can't leave now, since she entered that barrier. Could be a thing. Okay, she did bur- Okay, she burst up the, the wall. It's like, whatever. What a, what a neutral observer. I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna burn down this uh, castle here. Couldn't she just burn down, like, uh, you know, a house down here to get, to get heat then? She, she's willing to like, burn down a castle to get, for her magic, but she could burn out the plants. See, this is what I mean. It's like, ah, oh, whatever, fire. I mean, yes, this had herself more, so it's egoistic, but... You know, you just, it's just a sociopath, yeah. It's like, she's a complete sociopath. <laughs> but that's, this is more inclined to episode 3 character, not episode 2. Oh, here we go. Dare! Every time I hear Dare, I keep thinking about, you know, Goli Kamui. Dare! Dare! <laughs> it's the best scene in the whole anime. Dare! Who, who are you? <laughs> the old lady enters, man, I can't. Every time I hear, who are you? Dare! Dare! I this woman is not angry that she burned down her, her door though, yeah, she's like, you burned down my, my entrance, but whatever. I wonder if it's a cookies though, who makes her cookies? <laughs> but they probably it's a kind of, uh, it, it looked like, I mean, it, uh, the induction looked like, you know, uh, there's a raw soul and, you know, um, what's called, Beauty and the Beast, right? Like all her servants are probably like toys or something, yeah. Like her servants are probably like, uh, you know, some... How would she know though? Okay. Because she has no memory of how she got there. Okay, that's a weird princess. She was like, I'm here. Okay. How long has she been here though? Maybe she's lying though, who knows? Maybe she ruined everything. Maybe the note. Like, you are. <laughs> yeah, it's like, you're a princess. Here's the title of your. That's a weird episode. <laughs> it's like, no one knows. <laughs> what? I'm thinking maybe she brought the right well, to herself, yeah. She was like, okay, I, I'm gonna curse everyone and... But see, this is what I mean, if, if, if you're gonna argue that, oh, she's, she has to leave, she's in danger. I would say this castle is, is endangering her because this isn't like a kind of horror mansion. I wouldn't I wouldn't stay here for a night, you know. Oh, you know, someone's like burning down the interesting zoom magic. It's like a dragon or something burning down the village. See, this is what I mean. If shouldn't she leave now then, arguing if she has to escape if she's dangerous? No, I know I, I, I was spiteful, but honestly, wouldn't this be very dangerous for her? Wouldn't she leave the city now? 
she's gonna go for her mom's promise, she should immediately leave the city because this seems incredibly dangerous to be here. It's a kind of war and it's a kind of drag or something. I would, uh, she shouldn't stay in this village, I should fly away immediately. Okay, and it eats the human or something, yeah. Okay, she's the last person alive there, yeah. If you leave the castle, you're doomed, right? Okay, we should do it then. Huh, okay. <laughs> okay, okay, should I fight it? No. And obviously I'm always looking at my look at my clothes, look at my freaking Ashen, look at this thing. And here Elena could have offered to fight the Javel the fight the monster for her, but no of course she won't. But uh, that makes more sense, like whatever, you can live in your castle. Is she gonna train her then? You could argue that she would train her like a Dwayne Sire, right? That would be more consistent. Probably for years. Okay. Only seven days. Okay, why is Sana tomorrow? This is even strange torture, I feel. Oh, I just now remember my magic powers. Okay, what? Why? How? How did you know that? Now, yeah, this is weird, I feel. I feel this is very flimsy. How would she suddenly know that? This anime has to really explain, I guess, how she works in this anime. But this is like, how would she know her magic is back? How would she know that she's full powered again? Yeah. They both seem to be sociopaths. They're both like, I just burning down the village. Ah, huh, pretty interesting. Yeah, <laughs> they're both they're both very, very calm and collective when it's like, yeah, but I already can't enter the castle, it's burning down everything, it's fine. Yeah. It, whatever. It's not my problem. But see, this is what I mean. I mean, sure she could trust her that the castle is I mean she could trust her that the castle is safe, but I think you should I think that argument can easily be made here that she should leave this castle if she has to follow the promise of you know, oh, it's dangerous because this thing is outside destroying the whole city. And she's like, ah, I can probably sleep in here safely. I mean, she told me that it's safe. I trust. I don't know what I mean. Yeah, I mean, why isn't she leaving, right? Why isn't she leaving and flying away immediately when that thing appeared? I guess she makes food, I guess. She's the one who cooks the food herself. Yeah. How do you create all the material, though? Wouldn't she like? Yeah, how does she get all the the actual supply? I mean, to make the food. I mean, it's one thing if she can bake. That's one thing. But I mean, how did she get all the you know the floor and so on? Yeah. Okay, maybe he's not. Maybe well, she's probably the daughter of the chef and the pizzas, right? She's probably you know she's she's half she's a hybrid. She's half chef, half princess, <laughs> right? That's right. Yeah, she's half chef, half princess. So you get out to cook food because she's half chef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's her. That's her. You know, her benefits of her. <laughs> yeah, that's her benefits in life. There, father was a chef. She can make. She can cook food and so on. Yes. Was the mom a witch princess then? Well, this is a very detailed food here. In this anime, <laughs> it's very detailed. Yeah, it's like very, very, very high quality food in anime. It's like a so much. Like put this big knife here on that. Okay. Okay. Definitely, the letter is quite surprising, but 
but she's probably the daughter who makes sense right earlier and would, would explain her chef abilities, yeah. Because everyone knows that if you force a chef, you inherit the powers. It's like if you force a warrior, you become a warrior. If you force a destined hero, you become a hero. Everyone knows this. Okay, yeah. Oh, look at that. Okay, she didn't like, lick it away. It's better to lick it away, yeah. The, the jam did, but she was like, nah. So, this is what I mean. Why is Leia doing this stuff now? See, this is why this anime is perplexly existent. Okay, she's the one controlling the toys. She's doing the Dressrosa thing here. But, like, you know what I mean? Why is she suddenly spending all this time, uh, like, building this shit? She helps her do this shit, but she couldn't fight the plants? This is what I mean with this anime. Why, why, why is she doing this shit for? I'm a uh, real hard work for me, man. Yeah, so why is she building this, like, pitfall? She mentioned Pitfall early with the love thing, I guess like a uh, reference to that thing too. She mentioned Pitfall, falling in love, right? Falling into Pitfall. Yeah, so why is she helping this woman fighting the monster, but she couldn't help the village fight the plant? Why, why, why? Like, what's the difference? You know, what's the difference here? What's the difference here? She's spending a lot of time being an active member of the, of helping the village. This is incredibly consistent. But this is much more, you know, in character with episode 2, right? That she will help someone. Yeah, if you haven't seen episode 3 in between the episodes, yeah, like, absolutely. If I had not seen episode 3 and you've seen episode 2 and now 4, I would be like, oh yeah, this is what I expected her to do. She would help her coerce the princess to fight the monster, right? But at episode 3, you, should, you would argue it's opposite. She'd be like, screw you, princess, I'm leaving immediately. This is dangerous for me. So that, that's the thing, right? That's the thing, right? Like, it, yeah, like this is completely two different characters again. But it is, it's what I expected, though. I expected it to go back and forth with her, her as a character. And she also is not observing because she's actually helping her out. So she's not she's a near to observer either. This is completely, uh, you know, narr narr narratively different, too, right? No, but this feels a lot more than what I expected from episode one and two, absolutely. So, in essence, I like it, but I just mean how it's just weirdly, you know. Also seems to be a longer part of yeah, like a, it's a full episode. Instead of two shorter uh, parts. The pacing was probably too high last episode too, I think. Yeah, it'd be probably better if they had one full episode with the plant and so on. Here we go, she's gonna fight the monster now. But I wonder how she used to remember her magic. That was really strange though. She used to, I remember her magic though. Okay, and she's very confident too. Yeah, she's like, oh, I quite easily. I'm a preach I'm a badass witch after all. Oh, okay, I guess. If you say so, lady. Okay. The man has some pretty good, you know, uh, fight animation in terms of one there. Oh, some pretty little music as well, yeah. Yeah, puts her into her pitfall. <laughs> yeah, and there we go. It falls into her her pitfall finally, the love pitfall. Yeah, maybe the monster is her father or something. I don't know, or her mama, or the other actual princess or whatever. Some kind of curse. Seems to very easily kill it actually, like it's no problem whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, like she just owns it. Yeah, she just owns it. See? She needs me to help her. She was like, I may be able to help her. Yeah, she was even waiting to like, maybe I should take it too. Oh, I don't need to fly, I don't need to help, help out. Yeah, like Elena's waiting to fight the monster. 
But she couldn't fight the plant there. No, I can't stop it now. But I bet this is honestly exactly what I expected to do. To be so, you know, different characterization, yeah. Like suddenly she's gonna enter and help and fight this monster and... and she's yapping straight into the fire! What did her mom say? Why is she leaving this shit for? I'm, I'm sorry, but come on! Like this is completely what she didn't, didn't do last episode. Now she's like, oh, I'm gonna yap into the fire. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, what's happening? It's like a weird CGI thing. But I wonder if this is some kind of tricky that she actually supposed to kill the monster. Maybe she's the evil one. Maybe she killed the whole village, right? Maybe the monster's the good guy. I don't know. But it seems like it's some kind of fishy. It's like you know, some kind of in the storyline here between her and the castle and the monster. Or it feels like there's something here that is like you know, maybe she, maybe she loses her memory and yeah, and they had the baby, of course, the whole princess, and then someone maybe killed her father or something. I'm thinking this is her father, probably the monster. I, I don't know, but it's something. You know, this is probably some kind of. Yeah, not sure she remembers the truth, right? Like, this is actually the princess or something. And she's the evil one. Oh. She's doing the. Sword of Thousand, yeah. The... But she's probably evil then if she's like, oh, I see how it is. And it's like, kill! Die! Die, you monster! Yeah, so she. Let's see if you can figure out what actually happened here in the history. Is she just an evil witch to destroy the city? And is the monster actually the good guy? That could be how it is, right? The monster could be the poor little innocent monster. Ah, huh? I was the father. I freaking told you guys. I freaking told you, he was the father. I freaking told her, so the father, I freaking said it like 10 minutes ago, I was like, it's a, do it's a father, right? It's a chef daddy, I freaking told it, I freaking told it. Man, it's Adam so predictable, honestly. <laughs> I freaking called it, man, I was like, it's gonna be your dad, right? But of course she's evil for some reason. Yeah. It's good that Lena helped her instead, that was good, yeah, she helped the evil uh, princess daughter. Yeah. Elena clearly did, did the right fight there with this girl. Helping her was definitely the right thing. Seems to be. But I freaking called like it's gonna be your dad, right? But yeah, let's. And then he burned her father. And he turned into a monster for some reason. Yeah, and then he turned into a monster when they burned him or something. But how does she... Why is it memory for her? Yeah, obviously it was letter. I freaking told it. I freaking called it too, man. I freaking called it too that she left it. That she was a writer, come on. Man, it's predictable. Hmm. But yeah, she killed everyone, she killed to burn him alive and so on. No, no, but that was the piece that, yeah, but I mean, it was either one of those things, right? It was either, yeah, well, it's kind of like episode two with Saya, though, I suppose. It either had to be the princess or the daughter. That had to be, and the monster had to be either the king or the father, yeah, or the or like chef. It's like, I suppose it's kind of like episode 2 in that sense, I think about it in this anime, that they have so few characters per episode, that you kind of you kind of can figure out that it has to be that, you know, the king has to be the monster, or her father has to be the monster. Because it's going to be a man probably, right? Uh, and then, you know, the wish is going to be the daughter or the granddaughter, yeah. It's like... Um, 
And as I said, she wrote the letter herself, right? Yeah, because who else would write the letter? Either her or her mom would write the letter, right? So, so yeah. It, 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 might, it might be episode two in that sense, because in episode two, I guess that Saya, of course, has stolen the, the brooch because it's like, who else would steal it? It only has like two, three characters in the episode. So it's a, it's a problem with the anime, I guess, that because there are so few characters per episode, you kind of have to assume that they are the one that are doing it, right? Yeah, it's kind of like watching, if you ever see something like Law and Order or, you know, cop shows, it's like, well, if John Stan was in episode, he's gonna be the criminal. <laughs> yeah. Oh, spoilers! But yeah, it's an episode when John Stan was, right, you know, the super classic, you know, symbol of madness. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a guest character in episode Law and Order. And immediately when I saw him, and spoilers, yeah, immediately when I saw him, you know he's gonna be the criminal, he's gonna be the guilty guy, because... The guest character is almost always the bad guy, right? Him or if it's more than one guest character, is one of them, right? <laughs> but it's like, yeah, it's like the guest character is always one of the bad guys, and a guest character is him is so known for his like madness. He's gonna be the bad guy. <laughs> he's gonna be this like another criminal. Like, it's, who else is gonna be? You know, you have these characters and you have a guest character, right? This anime has like one character, it's like Elena, and then one other character appears. Oh, it's the princess, so she's gonna be the one. That is probably in the story, right? And and the, the monster could be her father or her son or daughter or something. It's gonna be some very close relationship to the monster, right? So the anime definitely doesn't have that going for it. Definitely not. No, it's the same thing in episode two, where it's like I said it episode two two in my reaction. I was like, oh, Saya stole the brooch, right? That was how I said episode two two. I was like, no, no, uh, she clearly, you know, she was she's she's gonna be the one to stole it, steal it because. You know, she's the only character better than episode. Her and the old lady, right? The only two characters that appear in the whole episode. So you're like, well, it's gonna be her and the, or the old lady that stole it. Who else would it be, right? Like it just that just kind of creates like an issue there, right? Because you're like, oh well, it's gonna be her because she's again, she's the only girl appearing, right? But I love this scene here. It used to be, you know, spiteful, but really though, really though, I love this scene here, comparing it to last episode how. In consistent with this, um, here she even jumps into the fire. She's like, "Fire! Oh, I'm gonna save her!" Yeah. So this is not the same person. In episode three. This is what I watched the episode to prove you everyone wrong. No, but it really is right. You can say whatever you want, but logically speaking, this is not the same person. In episode two and three, and everyone giving the whole. Oh, but her mom. She promised her mom to never go into danger or something. Okay, but she's jumping into the fire here then. She's literally jumping into the fire. She's like she's charging into the fire, but she couldn't even try to fight the plant monster that she has been told couldn't hurt witches. Maybe it could anyway, be slapping it in wine or something. But you know, like, like what is this shit? She's jumping into like a dragon fire bread thing. That is fine, but she can't try to like throw a fireball at the at the plant. And she couldn't try to fight fire. She burned down the door with the fire magic. She has fire magic, but she didn't try to burn the plants again. You get my point. This is. It is not the same person, episode 2. And if I had not seen, and I said earlier too, right, in reaction. If I had not seen episode 3, right, and only seen episode 2 and 4, 1, one, one 2 and 4, I would I would be like, yeah, yeah, this is what I expect, you know. Uh, nine, Elena, the, you know, the prince, the witch adventurer, of course she's going to help the princess because it's the right thing to do, right, until she learned that the princess is crazy, but, you know, like she's going to help her out and, you know, fight the monster and try to save the village and make the pit fall and so on, right. Uh, it would make sense, right? But watching episode 3, you would be like, why is she spending all this time and magic creating a pitfall? Like, she's not neutral, not an observer, clearly incorrect, people say, right? And and again, she's, she's not leaving, even though she's going to fight like a monster, okay, she's not leaving. And she's even jumping into the fire, right? So this is, this is a completely different character than episode 3 showed you. And she's very much more in danger here than she was in episode 3. This is much more, literally, much more direct in danger. So this clearly shows that the anime doesn't know what it wants to be. Yeah, episode 3 feels like a completely different anime. And also, in this episode, she both built the pit to talk to her, blah blah blah, so on. She's part of the story, right? She's part of the story. Episode 3, uh, part 2, she was just like, she was not part, she refused to do anything, right? She refused to even talk to him about the happen and so on. So it's, it's really weird. Like, it's just, uh, yeah, this proves... Absolutely, by that other than a doubt, that episode three is a completely different character, completely different characterization, different narrativeization, right? And uh, again, here she is helping this random country uh, and so on, right? So, uh, and, and people are arguing that no, the point of episode three was to learn, teach her 
So you can learn that like uh, not pet, help people is bad because the ones you help might be evil. Okay, it's helping the evil with chairs. So you need to learn shit then perhaps the three eyed right. So you, no, so the people are wrong. People are defending it until you're wrong. And I know people dislike the video now, but screw you know, you look at this shit. Look at it. Look at how X this is. Look at it. Look how this is another character. Look how she's here moving and acting completely different than she did in episode 3. She's an opposite character in episode 3. And that is straight up the truth here. It is straight up the truth. F3 is a completely other character. That is how it is. Uh, that's my review. No, but come on. You can't, you can't say that this is the same person in episode 3. It really isn't. This is the same person, arguably. This person here in episode 4 is much more similar to episode, three, uh, episode 2 and 1. Much, much more similar. She's jumping into the fire here. Much, much more similar than, of course. Yeah, it's just, it's really hard not to be spiteful here because it really is another storyline than episode, uh, and the storyline, but I mean, not a character than episode two, uh, three was, yeah. This is episode two again. Uh, really strange, right? Uh, and now, now I could wonder in episode five, is she then gonna suddenly be back to being all, you know, up, you know, Acadia and be like, no, everyone can die, I don't care. Is she gonna go back to being episode three later again, right? Who knows? It feels really strange. If it's really says writing, like episode 5, she might be completely, you know, oh, whatever, she wants to die, it's not my problem, Pfft, not my problem, fire, that's not my problem, yeah, so, <laughs> I do admit, I watch the anime more now, just to figure out where the writing is going to go, right, it is really strange, but anyway, that's Elena, we have more anime, of course, coming today on Friday, right, Friday has, you know, Yusuke Kaisen, you know, Dan Manshine, so on, right, uh, much, much, much anime, also on Friday, see you guys with that, Elena, subscribe, and have a good day, and also One Piece probably today.